Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd just show you some tools that I mostly use every day when I carve and then some unique tools that I use every once in a while. And sometimes the unique tools I use though every day and you'll see here shortly. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to start here with my knives. I, this here knife here is what I call my roughing knife and it is uh, an old Ron Wells. Uh, Mike Shipley still makes these type of knives, OCC tools, and he's making six uh, type of knives still today because um, he sold out the U-gouge and the V-tools uh, to Kryshak. And so, but he's just sticking with the six Ron Well knives that he originally started with. But this is a two inch, I call it a hog leg because a hog leg is short and stiff and it really removes a lot of wood. And so I would encourage you to get a roughing knife from your favorite dealer. And uh, it's just a really handy knife to have. My next knife I like is Deep Holler makes. This is about an inch and inch and a quarter or inch and three quarters. And this is a good general roughing knife, a detailing knife almost in certain, on certain things. And again, everybody's likes the way that you know everybody has a different take on handles so if you can always if you're at a wood carving show somewhere try out these tools hold them in your hands see if they're comfortable because uh, you know you don't want to have a whole, whole lot of strain on your hand when you're carving another knife that deep holler makes is a pistol grip type knife and i like because it's it's shaped like a pistol of a gun and uh, i like it because it fits right in the palm of your hand there and it fills the hand very well. And you're not really scrunching in a lot. It's it, it, enough fat there of the wood to, to fill in. And so that's a good comfortable knife. And so I would encourage you to, if you like something like that there, try that out and give it a shot, okay? And then another deep hauler knife that I like is the Pelican shaped. And uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a long, narrow snout on it. And it's, it's great for detailing, slicing cuts, thin cutting, you know, when you're cutting really thin slices out and uh, for detailing. So this is again, another pistol grip type knife. And so I would recommend this, this, I use it a lot. So, and then I use this one here, it was made by Ron Wells many years ago, but I, it was a detail knife, but as you can see, I have ground down the edge that took some of the fatness off of here to where I can get in in more tighter areas and it's my detailing knife that I use to uh, carve the the eyes and create the eyeballs and separating lips and anywhere that I've got to get in pretty tight with and it's just a wonderful little knife and learn to you know if you if you get a knife learn to tweak it to make it your own that's what I did this with this guy I took quite a bit of wood off the sides and uh, just uh, it's really been a nice knife that I use every day. And then of course another OCC tool knife that Mike makes is, is about an inch and a quarter or so here, a knife that uh, is a roughing knife and I use it for general carving and removing wood and whatever. So again, always if you can, when you go to these shows, pick it up, handle it. If they got a piece of scrap wood there, see how it cuts. Now, when you're testing the knife out, go across the end of the grain of the wood like the end of the stick and whenever you're doing it go across it and that way you can uh, get a good feel of how that knife is going to cut on end grain. And now I'm going to move over to some of the <clears throat> unique tools that I, I like and this here is a number seven three sixteenths a soft V and I don't know if you can see that very good there but it is a tool that I use for lips and for creating a lot of features on the face and bags around the eyes and things like that there. But it is a unique knife and or a unique tool there, a V-tool. It's a soft V. It doesn't have a, a very pronounced end on it. And so as you're looking at it, you know, uh, try to imagine how you can use that in very variety of areas, like for lips and under the eyes and things like that. So that's a number seven, uh, about three sixteenths there. And then another, tool that I use uh, and we used it here in a video not too long ago is the night uh, this is a spoon bent gouge about a number two or number three bent and so it is a knife uh, for inside cuts as far as creating the mouth inside of a mouth and so 
it's a unique and uh, I don't use it all the time, but it's nice to have on, on um, to have in your uh, variety of your tools that you have. So I hope that's, hopefully that's, oh, that's, it's about three inches long and about a number two sweep on it. And then of course, now this is gonna be hard to see here on camera, but this is a micro gouge that I use to create pupils with and uh, just small areas and it's hard to see and know but on the camera but I want you to be able to see that these are just handy little tools I have just to add an extra little detail a little make your carvings to pop and so I hope that it will uh, be a help to you now Harold Enloe don't make these anymore but sometimes you can find them on eBay once in a great while but anyway like you can still use like a number one gouge things like that to be able to help you in that area and of course uh, my old pocket knife uh, that I that I have here, you know, it's it's I this was my dad's and I redid it, dressed it down and made it kind of my own knife and you know I take that with me everywhere I go and I test out something or I see something out there in the woods I'll take it and slice it and and so it's a unique piece in which anything that your dad has you always cherish it so anyway it was the three bladed knife and uh, I don't know where he got it at but it was a pretty rough shape but I worked on it and cleaned it up years ago probably in the early 90s when I uh, asked him one day he had a knife full of a drawer full of knives and I asked him one day and he said well just pick one out and so I did so anyway this is one of my favorite knives and then here is an unusual tool that you don't a woodcarver I believe ought to have in their toolbox and that is a denture brush and you say why well it's because it's very stiff and it gets in there into cracks and crevices and gets rid of those fuzzies and little pieces of wood that gets all hung up in there and boy I tell you I use it every time and sometimes it can does better than a knife does getting in there and getting things out so have that some type of a, a denture brush or stiff brush that you can uh, get into your wood and, and clean out those little cracks and crevices and things like that and then of course I use this little V tool that uh, file makes it's a number 12 and it's a V tool that I use for eyebrows and things like that there you can use and it's just a, a handy little v-tool and uh, it's a great tool that i use a lot so these are some of the tools that i use every day and just kind of give you an idea of what i use uh, on the, at the bench every day when i carve and i hope that you've enjoyed this video but i would like to hear from you on what tools you use that you use every day and or maybe you have a unique tool that you use and that helps you become a better carver so i hope this has been helpful to you and we thank you for subscribing and like it and hit the bell and we'll see y'all real soon.